guests to the celebration of another great feat in the history of the Nigerian Air Force, the induction of three brand new helicopters into our order of battle. For the past decade, Nigeria has had its share of horrific national security challenges, especially terrorism and insurgency. The Nigerian Air Force, in concert with sister services, has confronted these insurgents and other enemies of the state to ensure the territorial integrity and national sovereignty of our dear nation is not undermined. This fight against insurgency and terrorism couldn't have been possible without the employment of modern combat platforms and equipment sophisticated enough to guarantee the protection of our national sovereignty and the safety of the communities where these asymmetric hostilities are perpetrated. Just five years ago, the Nigerian Air Force was facing very serious challenges with an abysmal 35% aircraft serviceability status for all operable aircraft. At the same time, terrorism, insurgency, and other heinous crimes were ravaging the nation with improvised explosive devices exploding, not only in the Northeast, but indeed in several urban centers, including the Federal Capital Territory. On assumption of office, His Excellency the President approved the procurement of military equipment including fighter aircraft and helicopter gunships. This visionary step has profoundly impacted positively on Nigerian Air Force operations, not only in the Northeast where we are engaged fighting Boko Haram terrorists, but indeed in other theaters of operation across the country. Your Excellency's government has so far procured and inducted 22 aircrafts. Furthermore, the service is expecting 17 additional platforms, including 12 Super Tucano aircraft from the United States. In addition, the Nigerian Air Force, through its in-country maintenance capacity building program, is reactivating three fighter aircrafts and one MI-35P helicopter gunship. Besides, the service has successfully conducted the in-country periodic depot maintenance of two C-130 transport aircraft. With the support of His Excellency, the service has undoubtedly come a long way from where we were in 2015. The resultant effect of these acquisitions and reactivations of grounded aircraft has been game-changing. Accordingly, the Nigerian Air Force has flown 36,853 hours in the fight against Boko Haram terrorists since 2015. The service in synergy with surface forces have substantially decimated Boko Haram from their previous positions of strength, forcing them to abandon their so-called Caliphate headquarters in Goza. They are currently operating in small groups in ungoverned spaces in the Northeast, where they take advantage from time to time to attack soft targets. Similarly, the Nigerian Air Force has flown 8,559 hours in the non-traditional missions of aid to civil authority and civil power using the same platforms acquired by this administration. These are appreciable improvements even as we recognize that much more still needs to be done. Today, through the enormous support of this administration, the Nigerian Air Force is set again to induct another set of brand new platforms, two Augusta 109 power helicopter gunships and one MI-171E helicopter in furtherance of its mandate to secure Nigeria and Nigerians. It will be recalled that two similar helicopters 
were inducted in April last year. As with those earlier platforms, these two additional Augusta 109 power helicopter gunships and one MI-171 helicopter, which will be inducted today by Mr. President, will be deployed effectively in the fight against insurgency and terrorism and other forms of criminality. I therefore want to use this medium to assure Mr. President that the Nigerian Air Force working closely with other security agencies will not relent in our commitment and resolve to further decimate defeat and deter those, those seeking to undermine our security, peace, prosperity, and national unity. At this juncture, may I, on behalf of officers, airmen, airwomen of the Nigerian Air Force, express our deepest appreciation to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for his support to the service. I want to also express our gratitude to Mr. President for creating the enabling environment for the service to function effectively. Your Excellency, your commitment to equipping and reorganizing the armed forces has added absolute value to our capability to conduct kinetic, logistical, and humanitarian operations. We are therefore most honored to restate our unalloyed loyalty to you, sir, and reaffirm our determination to ensure the security of our country. Your Excellency, despite all that you have done, like Oliver Twist, we are still going to ask for more platforms. We solicit that Your Excellency continue to support the Nigerian Air Force with more helicopter gunships and fighter aircrafts in our bid to build an Air Force with a qualitative age to project air power both within and outside the country, as may be required in the pursuance of Nigeria's interests and the well-being of its citizens. We are also appreciative of the commend commendable support and understanding of the National Assembly, especially the Defense and Air Force Committees that have worked assiduously and in harmony with the service to improve our operational effectiveness. May I also appreciate the Honorable Minister of Defense, the CDS, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense, and my colleagues, the Service Chiefs, and Inspector General of Police for their tremendous support and the synergy we enjoy in various theaters of operation. Finally, Your Excellency, the Nigerian Air Force will continue to discharge its mandate relentlessly because we believe that in the race to add value to our society and secure our communities, there is no finishing line. Once again, I want to specially welcome His Excellency and other very distinguished guests for coming to this induction ceremony. Thank you and God bless.